All right, so I am at a call, and uh, when I first showed up, inside to run in, I checked out tech drain line, went through the steps, come outside, fans running, but not compressor, check capacitor, it was bad, got it replaced, kicked it on, and I stuck my hand over here. It didn't feel hot, so I put my gauges on to check the pressure, and right now we're looking pretty, we're looking low, but not too low. So I think we got a restriction happening too. I'm gonna let it run for a little while and see what's going on and then I might do a leak check or a, a THV testing. Now the reason why I think it's a TXP is when I look at gauges see it's slowly climbing so we're giving it time but when I look at gauges suction side usually means an indicator on the inside unit. Out uh, high side here usually means an indicator on the outside unit. If your pressure is high and your sub cool is low, you probably have a clogged condenser cool. And vice versa, if this is low and this is high, then you got airflow restriction too inside, which is probably uh, the TXV clogging it. This right here is good. 8.5 is close enough that this should be in the 100s range. So we're just going to give it time, it's slowly climbing, we'll see what it does. I don't know the air filter's clean, just checked it, but I haven't checked the evap pole yet, so we'll check and see. So sometimes these TXVs have screens inside them, in the little tube liquid line tube. So what I'll do is I'll throw this in heat mode. Just for a little while, let it back flush if there's any crap in that screen or not. And then um, turn, we'll kick it back in cool mode and see if it makes a change. I'll usually let it run for just a few minutes and right now I'm, it looks like I'm seeing a restriction uh, in, the, in the heat mode too this is a little high higher than it usually is you, you want usually it's like 300s and that's usually up there too It's starting to climb now. This side is. It might have just released whatever was in there. We'll let it run for just a couple minutes and then we'll throw it back in cool mode. Now, sometimes if this doesn't work and it's restriction both ways, it could be this line dryer. All right, so to test this line dryer, I put a temperature clamp on each one, and you want, if it's anything over two degrees or more, I'll say it's probably got a restriction in it. But if you look at our temperature, we're 90.6 and 90.5. So I don't think it's the line dryer. It's gotta be that TXV on the inside. There's no TXV out here, so that strainer is probably clogged on that TXV, like significantly. So that's going to include, conclude this little short video. If you're getting weird pressures like that, want to check. I hope this helps you guys or anybody out there. But uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one.